I'm just going to show uh, importing of a step file where things are not quite as expected. So I'm going to drag this terminal step file in and I see it jump up and then I've seen it actually import. So it's done something. I seem to have to zoom in quite a long way to get into there. I can select the object. I don't seem to be able to move it though if I just click on it. So nothing seems to be happening if I try and drag it and move it around. And the reason for this is that the measurements used on this symbol are imperial. They're inch based. So this object is tiny. I have a grid of 25 millimeters. And in fact, this object is only a matter of inches across. So maybe one or two inches. Um, and it's coming in as being one or two millimeters. So if I was to change this down to a grid of one, then I might find I can move this and I can quite see quite a coarse grid happening on here. So the first thing is I'm going to select this, double click, and I'm going to rotate it about the X axis first and then about the Z axis. So I've got it in the right plane that I want to work. Next thing, I'm going to rotate this so I can see it, select the object, right click, and under modify, I'm going to choose the scale command. I'm going to scale from a particular reference point. I'm going to click on the end snap. And I'm going to reference from there, and I can see an X, Y, Z with a semicolon between them. So 25.4, 25.4, 25.4. So this is changing it from inches into millimeters now. So if I zoom back out, it looks a little bit better when it's looking at the, the size of a panel in the background. So we've got the component. I've got it selected. I'm going to use Control D, and check its structure. And I can see there's no blocking, it's just straight into the solid elements. So I should find I can right click. Ah, I have to remember in the properties, set the color method by parent. I'm then going to right click and choose assembly and create component. I'm going to create this as a terminal symbol. Click on OK. And I'm going to choose a reference point somewhere down here. So this is now a terminal symbol. Um, I'm going to add a block plane for the rail. So at the moment I've got a mounting and I'm going to add a new one here. If I click on define, scroll around and I'm going to go from this end point down here to the next one and then up to the top. That's been the last point. I'll choose the rail as being the name. Click OK and I can see that should be looking okay now if I zoom around that should be in the bottom left hand corner let's just close down that for a moment and place a piece of din rail if I double click on the symbol place it somewhere near the rail and I can see hopefully that that's snapping on on the din rail so that's the first thing next thing I'm going to have to add connection points So I'm now going to add two connection points. I'm going to go up to Add Predefined, scroll down to Top, click OK, and I'm going to add this perhaps between these two points and rotate this so I'm looking at the other side. <coughs> Hit Z to rotate this. And I'm going to add it between this point and this point. OK. So it's now got two connection points and we can go into a symbol folder. Right click and create as a symbol and call that a term. Hopefully if we were to change the color, let's just have a quick check on here and change it to blue. We should find that the actual color of that changes. And finally, we should find that we can control the transparency as well. 